percent it will never be enough for those people because they're empty we're talking about being in relationships with people who don't love themselves and value themselves so i'm going to tell you about how the person who i fell in love with or thought i fell in love with and i broke up because of this he was the first guy i really dated after my divorce and he was delicious <laughs> a mountain of a man a strong man competitor i could climb him <sighs> and i did anyway we were together for a year and a half and long story short he moved away to live closer to his kids in missouri and we were trying to do long distance because we really did think we loved each other but he couldn't handle the long distance. And he called me one night, four months after he had moved, and he gave me this ultimatum. Number one, you have to text me like within three minutes of me texting you. Find you, this man <laughs> had a different life than me, a much more flexible life, a lot more time alone. And he wanted to text like 25 times a day. And I was like, uh... Number two, ultimatum. He said, when I call you, you need to always pick up the phone. Even if it's just to say, I can't talk right now, but I'll call you back soon. I always had to pick up the phone. And that stressed me the F out because I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like having my phone. I use it enough for work. But the third ultimatum was when we talk every night, we had a phone date every night. Your children are not allowed to interrupt us, period. And I was like, yeah, I'm out. His whole mood and self-worth evolved around my attention towards him. And when he lived here, you know, near me, and we got to see each other all the time and fill his cup with physical touch and all that kind of stuff, it worked for him. But then when we moved away and he wasn't getting all of that tension, especially the physical touch, he couldn't handle it. And he didn't love himself. And that's why it didn't work out because he didn't love himself.